Hey, it's Jamal from the internet back again to help you learn about Cubase. So what we're going to be doing today is making a loop. I'm going to show you guys how to use the virtual keyboard, uh, tell you a little bit about quantizing and MIDI recording and loop recording. Uh, it's going to help you make a beat loop thing. So let's get started. First thing your things you're going to want to do is one if you have a MIDI keyboard just set that up I have a tutorial on how to set that up um, but if you don't it's fine too because Cubase has a virtual keyboard uh, you're probably not gonna see it at first because this is the default thing that you have so you right click on this oops and you hit show all and that's the quickest way to bring up your virtual keyboard as you can see as I'm hitting buttons on my keyboard you see the virtual keyboard light up now at first I'm gonna leave it in this mode there's two modes that you can use it in you hit tab to switch between them or you could press this little button same difference um, another thing you're gonna want to make sure is that you have the loop or the cycle feature enabled you can enable it down here or up here uh, you're also going to want to turn quantize on and pick a nice like whatever you want it to snap the beginning and ends of the beats to either 16th notes, 18th, 8th notes, sorry, uh, quarter notes, whatever. going to stick with 16th for right now. And pretty much when you're loop recording, you're going to want to select a region. I just have, you know, a couple bars that so has like four bars you can't see all of them but it's one to the beginning of five which is the end of the fourth bar uh, so we're gonna open up a virtual instrument you just right click over here add instrument track uh, we're gonna take it off of browse presets for now and I'm gonna use easy drummer there's lots of different drum things you could get uh, to like samples and stuff, there's groove agent stuff built in the Cubase, contact and that, those things you can get free versions off of the Native Instruments website. I'm gonna do a video on that eventually. Uh, but yeah, for right now I'm just gonna go with Easy Drummer because it's easy and I suck, so I need something easy. Okay, so now as you can hear, or as you can't hear, Ah, there you go, there you go. Okay. There are drums. When I hit keys... Ooh. You get different uh, drum sounds. There's like a drum map. You don't you really don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, uh, I was playing fusion just now. That, that's what that was. It wasn't bad, but it was fusion. Um, so anyway, uh, so pretty much once you have your region selected already and your loop feature is turned on, you go ahead and make sure your track is record enabled. And then you hit record, and what's going to happen is... It's going to record what you play if you play nothing, of course, it's going to record nothing. And there are several modes that determine what happens after you initially record. Right here, uh, you go down here into the thing... The thing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what it's called, but the thing. Uh, and it'll have several options. The first two are MIDI only, because you can loop record with audio, but the first two mix. Uh, with mix, what happens is you'll record one pass, and then it'll go back and keep looping. And as you add more things, as you play more, it'll just add it on top of the existing MIDI data, which is what we're going to be doing today. Then there's overwrite, which means it'll record, and when it goes back over, what you play will replace what was just recorded in the loop. Keep last is the same thing, it overwrites but it only keeps the last, that's for audio, it only keeps the last take. Stacked, 
the last take is what you'll hear, but it'll store all of the previous takes so that you could cut them and piece them together so you have the perfect take if you're trying to do something like that. And stack to no mute, it's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, right now we're going to be dealing with mix. So we're just going to go ahead and hit record. I have a count off, I believe, uh, before it starts recording. So yep. <coughs> And I'll start. Alright, that sounds pretty good, but I think I want to add symbols, so... So I think I'm pretty much done for the drum part of the loop. So I'm going to go and select another virtual instrument. And I'm also going to switch my keyboard up because I'm going to be using a keyboard sound. So, or a synthesizer sound, actually. So, hit record. Playing anything, so nothing's getting recorded. I'm just getting a feel for the general groove again, even though there's already a metronome. did here was I fast forwarded, uh, all I did was I finished recording that loop, then I added another instrument track, it was an electric guitar, uh, and I went through the same process, pretty much doing another part and recording it on top of the two parts that I had previously recorded, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't need to see that, it's just gonna make the video way too long for YouTube. Alright, so there you can see uh, just a general loop. You could go through and make a whole song just changing where you loop or creating a bunch of loops and sequencing them across uh, your whole project window. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not very good at this. This is probably uh, the, the third loop beat thing I've ever made in my life, and the first two were to practice for this video. But I'm sure a lot of you are much more talented at this and could really use this information. Say if you were using FL Studio and you're now coming over to Cubase and you just need to know the basics, there's a lot more. Uh, you can use Groove Agent and things to kind of map out different loops, but I'm not going to get into that because I'm not good at that. So I hope you learned something or the other from my ramblings and uh, fairly terrible music abil musical abilities. Um, so yeah, go, go ahead and uh, subscribe to me because... Uh, I, well, doesn't seem like I have a valid read, but uh, if you could just go ahead and just just help help a brother out, you know.